<laughs> What's been going on with me lately? Great question, audience. So nice of you to ask. <laughs> Uh, I did some shopping on, on Amazon recently for some new workout equipment. I was thinking about getting one of those Peloton bikes, but then I thought, if I want someone to yell me through a screen, I can just FaceTime my mom and tell her she's never getting grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, that's a great laugh. <laughs> uh, I saw that Jeff Bezos recently purchased a 417-foot super yacht, which seems like a pretty odd number to settle on, you know? Like, 417 feet is huge. That's the equivalent of four football fields, two aircraft carriers, one restraining order for some of you. <laughs> a little bit about me, I have asthma, autism, and scoliosis. You're laughing a little bit too hard then, dude. <laughs> we start that one over here, we get the full elliptical of it. So I have asthma, autism, and scoliosis. <laughs> and whenever I tell people I have those three things, I put them in the exact same order every time. I don't know why. It's probably because I have OCD. <laughs> when I was younger, I always wanted a sister. But now I'm happy I don't have one. Because women statistically get into more trouble than men do. This is the reason we have prisons for women called women's prisons. While the prisons we have for men are called marriages. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, never had much luck when it comes to women, like I'm single right now, but I have been on a couple of dates with my personal trainer lately. The only problem is, I've been to the gym in a little while, so I guess you could say, we're not really working out. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You knew when you bought the free ticket, this is the kind of show you're gonna get. <laughs> Whenever I went on a date in high school and never worked out, it's probably because I was a bad date. This is an impression of me in high school on a date at a restaurant. So you're paying for this, right? <laughs> One thing I don't like about driving is having to park in and then eventually back out of a tight parking space. Whenever someone's back out of a tight parking space, there's always someone behind the car saying, you're good, you're good, you're good. But I'm someone who needs a lot of encouragement and reassurance. I need somebody in my car saying, you're smart, you're handsome, you can tell when America's got talent, back it up. During the pandemic, some people had the idea that no matter what vaccine they took, it was gonna give them autism. I already have autism, so when I got my COVID shot, I was hoping it gets me cool, like abs or personality. <laughs> friends are actors, which is pretty cool. To me, actors are the dogs in the entertainment world because they love being told what to do, need constant attention, and most of them end up homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell there's a couple actors in this movie. <laughs> the worst ride at any theme park has to be the drop tower, because all you do is go straight up and straight back down just like my parents' expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen yourself in those ride photos? Nothing will ruin your day faster. I'll walk onto the ride with the confidence of Brad Pitt. When I see my face in that picture, I leave the park feeling like Pete Davidson. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been to Six Flags lately, but they have what I like to call Kardashian roller coasters, because you gotta admit, they're not the best looking rides, which is ironic, because they've had a lot of work done to them. <laughs> That's a new joke, I'm glad that worked. 